The TV show that we all love to kind of hate, isn't there? You know the one I'm talking about, that depicts royal history, but doesn't really depict royal history. Or does it? Are you confused? Let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have your company today, and as ever, thank you for joining me. Lovely to see you. Now, this particular story is a bit heartwarming, as I say now. It really, when you think about it, we love history, don't we? We love nostalgia. I know when we make these on this days, it's nice to kickstart the memory gene, isn't it? And think, really? Is this still going or is it not going? Whatever, you know? And I like the fact that music, I don't know if you agree with me on this, can really sort of set memories going because, first of all, you can't believe how many years ago it is since that single or album came out and then you think really oh I was only that age then and then have you looked at the artist and looked at them and think oh goodness they look old never of course thinking that you might be joining them am I right but this particular story is a strange one in itself because I was lucky enough recently to spend time meet and chat with a man that was truly at the pinnacle of history as the private secretary to the late uh, Princess of Wales Diana Patrick Jefferson. Now what's interesting here with him is of course you know I like people like him because they are there you know they are living through history and his book if you haven't read it is fascinating because it really is history you know obviously it's 25 years ago now it's a long time ago and when you think about it you know it was all so current wasn't it very quickly things become history but now Patrick has become the historical content fact checker on the crown for Netflix right and he apparently basically advises them on what happened and what didn't happen. Now we laughed about this because obviously when you think about it, the crown itself seemingly picks its own narrative, doesn't it, you know? There's no way these particular things happened. When I asked Patrick about this, he basically said, look, he is advising them and they, you know, give him sort of the plot. But of course, it's up to the script writers in the end to decide exactly how they want to project that narrative. So from his point of view, what he's telling them are his memories, how it happened and why it happened. Of course, for dramatic to effect, dramatic license, they can simply do what they wish. And as he pointed out, it's a great show to work on, a lot of fun. And he says the accuracy, the buildings and the clothes, the wigs, the makeup is spooky at times. But as he also pointed out, he can only tell his side of the story. And what they decide to do with that version is entirely up to them. So for those that are sort of laughing at the crown, and let's face it, we all do, rest assured, Patrick at least is telling the true and original narrative. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.